What is up, Marvel fans? My name is Trevor, and welcome to my channel. With the release of Thor Love and Thunder, I thought it would be the perfect time to share with you my top 10 favorite MCU heroes. Join me down below in the comment section. Who's your top 10 favorite MCU heroes? Top 5, number 1. Let me know all that down below in the comment section. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Come back tomorrow for a top 10 MCU villains list. It's going to be a lot of fun. Right now, we're talking heroes. Let's do this right at number 10. And at number 10 is going to be Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow herself. Rest in peace to this awesome character. Getting introduced to her first and Iron Man 2 was absolutely awesome, but seeing her progress throughout the MCU is what really makes me love this character, how she laid it all on the line, whatever it takes, she literally did what's better good for the team, sacrificed herself over Hawkeye, it was an emotional moment, I love her solo movie, I love this character, she's absolutely badass, she's at number 10. At number 9 is going to be Star-Lord, now if you go back to the first Guardians of the Galaxy, I like this version of Star-Lord the best, and as he kind of progresses throughout the MCU, he becomes more of like the jokester type of guy, and almost kind of make him a little more schlocky than he was in the beginning, I still love this character. I think he's one of the coolest inside the MCU. I love his relationship with everyone on screen. I love his relationship with Gomorrah, and I really love his relationship with Yondu. He may be a father boy. But he ain't Joe Daddy. Rest in peace to Yondu. I love the dynamic. Star Lord's at number nine. And at number eight is actually going to be Kate Bishop from the Hawkeye series. Haley Steinfeld plays this character oh so greatly. But I love this character for how dorky and witty she is. She's always looked up to the Avengers and when she became one herself, she didn't really know how to act. And I feel like that's a very relatable character and relatable character trait to have. I cannot wait to see her in future projects and take on the full role of Hawkeye. She's the greatest archer in the world. I absolutely love this character. And at number seven is going to be Black Panther. Now this character is badass to the absolute max. If you go back to Civil War and see T'Challa on first time on the screen, you're not really sure who this is, at least I wasn't, and then when he's chasing Bucky through the streets, takes off his helmet, and you find out that T'Challa is Black Panther, that made me lose my mind, this character is badass, I like in the Black Panther movie how he absorbs all the power, and when he, after he absorbs all this power, he like basically explodes all that power off, and he uses it to his advantage, I think that's badass, some people don't like that, I really do, Black Panther's so freaking dope. And at number 6 is going to be Hawkeye, I'm a big Clint Barton fan, see him as Ronin in Avengers Endgame, and then see him how he has almost that PTSD struggle coming in the series of Hawkeye. I think it works really well if you want to keep making a Hawkeye series and keep having Clint Barton in it. I'm all for it. I don't get the hate for this character. I absolutely love this guy. I think he's one of the coolest inside the MCU. At number five is going to be Thor Odinson. Now, Thor Love and Thunder was not my cup of tea, and they're starting to make Thor a little bit more of a schlock vest inside of the MCU. But Thor himself in his previous movies was this awesome, badass god who really got his whole world taken away from him. And when he had that struggle, that's the Thor I love the most. After Infinity War into Endgame, how he went to his depression, gained all this weight. Now, this this character used to be much higher on this list. He still is a top five for me, but Thor Love and Thunder made me like him just a little bit less, and how they use him throughout the rest of the MCU will determine if he stays on his list. Still love the character of Thor. I went for the head. At number four is going to be Shang-Chi. I think this character is easily the coolest inside the MCU, and I want to be friends with this guy. He basically had the weight of the world on his shoulders at a very young age, so he ran away from that to be a car valet, hang out with his friends, and be normal. And I think that's something very relatable that Shang-Chi does greatly. But turns out, he's like an assassin, one of the strongest inside the MCU, and he's one of the coolest, one of the coolest freaking ever. At number three is going to be Steve Rogers. I'll always have a soft spot for Steve Rogers and Captain America inside the MCU. But Steve Rogers' character is someone I always enjoy and I always love because he always tried to do what was best for his friends and his family and like he never let any of that get taken away from him. While the character can be annoying for his blind love for Bucky, he will always do whatever he thinks is best and that's what I like about him. Even when he might not be right, he's willing to go to the end of the line with his friends. I hope they don't bring him back inside the MCU, but if they ever did, they better work because I mean Captain America 4 would be awesome with two caps on screen. At number two is going to be Spider-Man. It's looking like Peter Parker and Tom Holland is going to be kind of like the leader of the MCU. We're going to see how they play with this character inside the rest of the movies. But what I really like about this character is that he wants everything and more because he's capable of more than he is doing. But he's not fully ready for it yet and he has to fight that internal struggle of being patient and getting ready for when the big moment does come. He is ready to go out and shine. He literally has the entire world forget who he is because everyone else's life was better and safer without him. He's alone right now and he's broke. He's just trying to go to college. I'm excited for the new Spider-Man movie. I cannot wait for it. But but at number one is going to be Tony Stark's Iron Man. I don't think anyone will ever top this character. What he did for the MCU is nothing short of extraordinary. And the way he sacrificed himself in Avengers Endgame hit me right in the feels and I'll never forget that moment. Easily one of the best moments inside of the MCU. Tony Stark is one of the coolest, wittiest, almost cockiest people inside the MCU. The character of Iron Man is noble, badass, heroic, and every time he's suiting up, I get chills, I get jacked up, and he's easily my favorite MCU hero. Let me know down below in the comment section your top 10 favorite MCU heroes, top 5, top 1, whatever you got let me know that down below hit the like button and subscribe button come back tomorrow for a top 10 mcu villains ranking very excited for that one thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one